in this cosmos. Do you want some facts on baguettes? I'm just feeding you the stories. Maybe this is The Context. News in depth. The Context, tonight at nine on the BBC News. At six, former Chancellor Rishi Sunak leads the race to be the next Conservative leader and our Prime Minister after the first round of voting. There are now just six candidates with enough support to stay in the race. Nadim Zahawi and Jeremy Hunt have been knocked out. Penny Mordaunt and Liz Truss came second and third. We will have all the details from Westminster also on the programme. Protesters in Sri Lanka storm the Prime Minister's office as demonstrations over the cost of living intensify. Security forces, the police, all the armed guards, they're nowhere to be seen. Another public building here in Sri Lanka, which has now been occupied by the people. Another train strike is announced. Around 40,000 rail workers will walk out for one day on July the 27th. Forest fires in France and Portugal as heat waves grip Europe. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, a French inquiry points the finger at authorities over the Champions League final chaos in Paris and finds Liverpool fans were unfairly blamed. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at six. Rishi Sunak and Penny Morden lead the way into the, to the race to become the next Prime Minister after Conservative MPs cast their votes in the first round this afternoon. There are now six people left standing in the Tory leadership contest. Today started with all of these candidates still in the running. They needed at least 30 votes to stay in. Former Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt and the current Chancellor Nadim Zahawi didn't get enough support.